Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel before you continue watching. We are headed to 60,000 subscribers and that is a great milestone. I want to thank each individual who is participating in this journey. And um, after you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell so that once I put a video, you don't need to go and search. It automatically send you a notification. Kaka, if there is a man that history will judge positively, is William Ruto's economic advisor, David Ndi. I have followed David Ndi for the little time he has been in government. And I bet he is the only truthful man who is so generous and fair with information. When disseminating true information, it doesn't blink, it doesn't hide, it doesn't play politics. It puts things as they are. Based on David Indy's argument, and from the argument I saw yesterday in one of the political forums, as argued by a crony of William Ruto, of course a member of parliament, I'll be sampling the two arguments to explain to you the terrifying scandal that is waiting to blast in this housing scheme. I can confirm. That is my own opinion. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm not arguing. From. Another source. I'm just using. The available information. To inject. My opinion. Into the project. Now listen to me very clearly Kenyans. By the end of this video, I want you to understand why the housing scheme is a, is a ticking bomb waiting to blast. This is a scandal in waiting. Point number one. In the finance bill that is set to be tabled in parliament, the members of parliament wants to exempt elected politicians or leaders from being prosecuted on mismanagement of public funds. That is a fast red alert. <laughs> so, the Kenya Kwanza Member of Parliament are proposing that a Member of Parliament can mismanage CDF and work scot free. So they want to scrap off a section that requires an elected public servant not to be judged or not to be prosecuted after mismanaging the public funds. They want to scrap that. So meaning, any leader in this country can mismanage your funds and he walks scot-free because they won't be exempted from the law. That is the first red alert as far as the housing scheme is concerned. Point number two. I want to open up your mind. You have a choice to take it or leave it. But I want to show you why the housing scheme is a hoax. I want to show you why the housing scheme is a scandal. I want to show you why the housing scheme is meant to bring back the campaign cash that people used to buy votes. Now listen. The member of parliament I told you was having and saying the 3% tax will be an increment salary from government to civil servants. So the government increases salary by 3% and 
and deduct the 3% at the end of the month to the housing project. See, you come on any path. The member of parliament, he is a UDA member of parliament, a vocal member of parliament, and of course from Kisi County, was saying in one of the prominent political WhatsApp groups in Kisi, was saying, Ruto is planning to announce a 3% increase salary on civil servants. While what are going to pay slip. Once you receive this money at the end of the month, the government automatically deducts the increased 3% to the housing project. Meaning, Serakari na kupatia na kutoa. Mbona ifanya hivo? The member of parliament said, this is meant to convince the investor of sustainability. Yani, it's meant to play public relation to an investor to convince him that, look, we have enough money to give you or we have enough resources, sustainable resources for you to start this project. So, first, the comment from that member of parliament confirms the housing scheme is a hoax. Point number three. David D is saying this and I want to quote. The housing fund is not for financing development. It is a revolving fund for de-risking private developers by giving them a guaranteed buyer. Oh, Jesus. David in these sentiments are marrying the sentiments of the UDA legislature. They are marrying, they are agreeing that yes, <laughs> the 3% deduction is meant not to fund development, but to convince the private investor, uh, investor of sustainability, longevity of the project. Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, Kenyans. We are being hoodwinked. We are being brainwashed. We are being tunaibiwa. Hey, tunaibiwa. Tunaibiwa. Sikiza ndi hivila nasema. Nataka nirudie. Kamu unalewa kizungu, nataka nirudie. Anasema hivi. The housing fund is not for financing development. No. It is a revolving fund for the risking in quotes private developers by giving them a guaranteed buyer that is the government. Right? The developers will finance the projects. Financing for buyers will come from other sources. The fund sits in between. Now, Kenyans, I want to ask William Ruto some questions. He might not respond because he might not get this video. But for the sake of the million Kenyans who are following me, I want to ask these questions on their behalf and most importantly, I want to remain on record as a citizen who stood by the truth when things were tough. Number one, we are being told the housing project will be built by a private developer. My own understanding or the questions I'm asking where was the tender announced? Who won the tender? And was there competition for fair selection? I repeat we are told the housing project will be done by a private developer. Can Kenya Kwanza government produce a valid cassette notice 
announcing the tender. Who won the tender? Because as Kenyans, we deserve to know who is going to build that. It's in the public. Ata kwa barabara ya CDF, ata ya county. Barabara ikipeanu kwa tender, lazima wana sign post imeekua. Company ya nyinafanya barabara, who owns the company, nini, ni kutokwa. So, you have to see all those teachers in public. So, Kenyans are asking, who is this private developer? Who is this? Where was the tender announced? Who won? Was there competition for fair selection? Najwa wa swahili wa nasema, kibaya jaji tembeza na kizuri jaji uza. If the housing project is a good idea, itaji uza yenyewe. But it looks like Kenya Kwanza is forcing the project to Kenyans by force by fire down the trough. And then my next question. Why the hurry then? Why can't people be synthesized? Why can't people do public participation? Why the hurry? Why are you hiding some information? This is a hoax. This is is another NYS candle, whether you like it or not. And I want to repeat today, keep this video for future reference. Vijana waliambiwa, pesa yeo ni itawekwa na mutapewa kwa NYS. Nani amewa ipewa? Mkono juu. Muliwana pesa inye ilikuluwa. Housing project is a hoax. Hot air meant to sieve on funds to fill other people's pockets. Whether you like it or not, that is the bitter reality. God bless you. See you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen.